Louisiana beer reviews, Old English High Gravity Malt Liquor. Old English 800 HG is very strong. It's 8% alcohol. It was introduced in 2001, two years after Miller acquired the Old English brand from Taps in their blockbuster deal. Okay, I bought this at a little grocery store on uh, Commerce Avenue close to the Alamo Dome. And I already see that it's expired since May. But that's all right because Miller says that all their beers should be fine a year out past the expiration date if they're canned or bottled. It was 99 cents for this can, plus tax, $1.07, good deal. Uh, I've never actually had this in the can version. I've only had it in the bottle. And the only time I ever found a bottle was at uh, Mercado de Familia grocery store on U.S. Highway 90 in Beaumont, Texas. So it looks like this is a Texas thing, not a Louisiana thing. We only get the regular Old English 806 percent. This beer has won many gold, many, met, many medals, one gold, one silver, and three bronze at World Beer Cup and Great American Beer Festival. As you can imagine, it gets four scores on Great Beer, beer Advocate, no shock there. Because it's mass produced, so consequently, they hate it. All right. I had some salad with this. currently cooking. Okay, so I have uh, some spinach salad with a black olive, some fried onions, and some kins. Salad dressing, I really am impressed with kins. Steakhouse salad dressing, really good stuff. I'm frying, let's see. Okay. And I have some uh, Pelicano's Little Italy Style Meat Flavor Pasta Sauce. Never bought this before. Don't know if it's any good. Hope it is. All right. <clears throat> Thick white head. Clear yellow gold appearance like you'd expect from any mass-produced lager beer. Sweet. Um, I'll show you what I'm frying real fast. I'm going to have to put the heat down. But I like to get that pork sausage fried you know, really well because... I don't trust pork. Okay, so I got that going. And I got the bow ties from Da Vinci. And that comes straight from Italy. By the way, Da Vinci pasta. Made in Italy. And it was on sale for 99 cents a bag at the third supermarket. The Plaza Museum. All right. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat down just to the low, low, low setting. I don't want to burn it very low. All right. Um, sweet, nice beer smell. The aroma. <laughs> it's strong. It's strong. It's full flavored. It's bold. Um, but it's, it's got a sweetness, a grain um, aspect for sure. They use the yellow corn grits and boiling malt. Water, hop, and meat. Um, but, um, It's got a lot, it's got a very mild, pleasant flavor. The mouthfeel is pretty light and watery, although it does have body to it, it's not totally light. It's, uh, certainly refreshing. Um, the finish. <laughs> the finish is pretty dry. 
it's refreshing, it's not too alcoholic, it's not too boozy, and uh, it's quite drinkable. That's the reason this beer can get you in trouble, because it's really smooth, it's mellow, it's not too bold, it's not too rich, it's not cloying, and um, so you could be drinking it down, 8%, you drink the whole 24 ounce, you're going to have some real issues. I don't want to run into any of those issues, so I'm just going to sip on it for hours. You do want it ice cold, I had it in the fridge. I'm going to put it back in the fridge. Actually, I had it in the freezer for a little while. This, these high gravity lagers or malt liquors, as some people call them, they're not something to uh, drink as they warm. They are not made for warming. Uh, I think it'll go very well with lunch. Uh, early this morning at the grocery store, I had the Le Chouf, the Hublin Le Chouf, which is 9%. But, um, I found it was inferior, I think it's inferior to the Hurt, the uh, Old English High Gravity. Um, and, and I'll tell you why. It's too bitter, too bitter, too, uh, uh, too much of a grain husk. It's too sweet and it's not drinkable enough. And besides the fact it's about five fifty a bottle. Whereas this was 99 cents for the can, it has a smoother flavor. A nicer flavor, a less harsh flavor. It's just a better beer. I mean, I gave the the the, the Hoblin Schiff an A minus, and I'm going to give the uh, OE 800 high gravity can version. Where is it? give it a solid A. Most excellent. You can't go wrong with it. Too bad it's not sold in Louisiana, but we do get the Ice House Edge, also 8%. Very similar to this. Very similar. Not the same, but very similar. So, let's, uh, take care of this uh, meal here. Now I have grease splashing on my camera. I'm going to cut the flame off on this. Uh, I'll put a little olive oil. Okay. We're gonna cut way down on the possum not to drain the water. Then I'll put the sauce in. Okay, uh <laughs> I think we got enough oil in there to fry chicken. Um okay, so we're gonna take care of that. And then we're gonna drain the pasta and uh then we're gonna we're gonna heat the uh, pasta sauce. So I think it's gonna be a very good meal. It's gonna pair very well. It's gonna be a very good meal. <laughs> it's gonna pair very well with that old English 800. So most excellent beer. Keep up the good work, Miller. And I'll be drinking more of your stuff very soon. Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.